So my tutorial is going to be to show you how to make a floating ornament. I've seen a lot of newbies post in the group asking how to do it. Um, and so I know it's a lot easier to watch someone doing it than to watch some long YouTube video. So I'm just going to show you briefly um, the steps to making the transparency film um, and walk you through all the way to printing it. I'm just not going to print it, um, but I'll show you all the steps. So um, this is my... Um, template that I've already made which is 3.048 in width and 3.458 in height okay so this is one that I previously made but I'm going to make one just to to show you how to do it so first I'm going to um, select text and type out what I want ah, change the So with this, um, you're going to go up to the top right here where it says letter spacing and I always just delete that and put point zero there. So it brings my word together. Um, it'll bring the letters closer together so that way there's not a lot that you have to, to work with. So um, since there's still gaps there though, I'm going to want to go here and go to where it says ungroup. So I'll click ungroup and what it's gonna do is it's going to separate all my letters. So now I have the ability to move them each individually. Okay, so now I can scoot them over so that they are touching um, because if you have a script font, that's what you want. Okay, and if you highlight over certain letters, you can move them all at one time. So, um, I'm going to move the R over just a bit, the C over, and then move that closer to the I, and then move it all over closer to the T. Okay, so now I have also the little extras for this font. So what I'm going to do is add on some extras. Okay, here's that. I want to add that there. And then Trying to find one that I really like. I guess I'll use that one. And then make it bigger. Move it under there. Um, and then I'll add one more thing. Um, let's see. Find a star. Okay. And put a star up here. Move Mary over and I'll decrease the spacing in Mary just where it looks good to me. So then I'll do that, make my star a little bit bigger. Now I want Mary and Christmas to be all one word, um, all one object. So I'll highlight over the whole thing. And then if I go down here, right here, I will select weld, which will then make it all one piece. See? So... Now I'm going to make that just a bit bigger. 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is highlight over Merry Christmas, go back over here and click the scissors, but I'll make it to a print file. And then I will actually turn it red. Okay, so now it's red and it's set to print and it's all one piece. So now I'll do that with the black piece. I will go over here and I will click the scissors and change it to print. And I will also change it green. So now it's changed. And then my star, I'll go over here, click the scissors, put it to print, and I'll make it blue. Okay, so now it's exactly how I want it. Okay, so just so that it's all together while I'm decreasing the size to fit into the template, I'm going to highlight it all. Then I'm going to go to group up here so that it can be all one piece and it's not welded. So that's why it stayed at separate colors, but it's all together because it's just grouped. Okay. So now I can shrink it all at the same size. I mean, at the same time, and then I'll move my template over, then I can shrink it to fit in there. Okay. So now all of this image is going to just print because it's set to print. So this part is what I want to actually cut because I want it to print in that, you know, in that space, but I want that part to actually cut. So um, my template is highlighted and then I will come over here and click the printer and I will change it to cut and I'm also going to make it white. Okay. So then I will highlight all of that and I will select right here where it says flatten. So now you're not going to see the template in the back, but it's still there. Okay. So next I'm going to go to right there where it says make it click that. And then it's going to go to your next screen and you're going to go to continue. And then this is where you're going to select send it to your printer. So you'll click send to printer. You'll select your printer from the drop down box. I always turn my bleed off. Okay. Um, and then you'll select print. So it's going to send it to your printer. It's going to print out. Once it prints out, you're going to put your transparency on your map. Lay it on your mat, um, exactly in that top corner, you know, um, like you always do. And then you're going to, I have the maker, so I always go to browse all materials. Then I go down to plastic and select transparency and then done. And I always set it to cut more just because I feel like it gives it a cleaner cut. So then I feed it into my maker and it will print. I mean, I'm sorry, it will cut out the round part. 